Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play of Civilization VI as the Maya with the Hermetic Order. I've taken the liberty of removing a few of those pins because I realized it was uh, covering my capital and I hope that that was bearable for the previous episode, but we certainly don't want to repeat that this time. I might also delete this pin because uh, I know where most of these, these things are going. I've also taken a look at the Empire a little bit more and I think that this city is going to be really important Oops, because it's got lots of chops, it's got lots of hills, so I can build lots of mines here and they're grassland hills so they technically can have the citizens grow while they work them. So this might actually be my spaceport city, which means it should be a higher priority. The other thing I can do with it is I can appoint Magnus and then chop out the settlers, especially if I get them from Zunan Tunic and uh, get them over here. Gosh, I hope I pronounced that way. So if I had played my cards right, I probably should have settled this settler over here, but we'll send this settler over there when it's finished. I'm going to go ahead and settle this city, try to get some uh, more loyalty pressure in here, and maybe settle this one after all. I am worried about this city, uh, but I don't know that uh, this is a high priority for Spain. He might come settle it, and if he does, then that's okay. I, I think I'd rather undervalue this than, than lose out on this city, so I'm going to go ahead and, and settle that one first. Okay, so there's a thousand year flood up here. That's really good. Oh, another thing I was thinking about. Oh, I just damaged my scout there. Oops. Well, I'll move him into my territory and then heal up. Another thing I was thinking about with this situation is I could move this over here. Let me give this city a name. Hotel. <clears throat> I could also make this uh, another observatory for this city, so now it actually has a good observatory because there's no plantations around here. And then these two cities don't have a really good plantation. So what I could do is put the uh, government plaza right here. I could chop out like a settler or something out of Oaks Mall and then settle that city, get the government plaza down, and then have this be an observatory and this be an observatory. And then each observatory is plus one from these two farms, plus one from these two farms. It's plus one from each adjacent, or from the two adjacent districts, so it's not to plus two. And then the government plaza brings it up to plus three. So now every observatory in my empire has plus three. And if you didn't know, having plus three on a, an observatory is important for rationalism. The rationalism card works if you get um, three adjacency bonus or better. So for Oaksmal, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a monument so I can start picking up some more of these better tiles, which are in its second ring. But I'll probably send this builder over here to chop out. Okay, so we got the tech tree here. I think I'll go for apprenticeship, especially given that I have a, a city that I can have mines in. But I might also use this builder for these to get this online. Now I think getting uh, getting that uh, getting that government plaza down is going to be important. And then once I get this builder created, then I will uh, appoint Magnus in here. All right, we're still good there. We have a governor title to spend. I know. Okay, he's mad that I settled. I'm going to go ahead and take the grievances because it'll give us time to um, declare fr Oh, I need to re-declare re friendship. Yes. They'll, they'll fade very quickly, and I want to make sure that he doesn't denounce me. I've got to stay friends with him. Oh, there's another... Oh, I just mentioned how important this city is. I wonder if I can trick him into settling exactly right there. Because if I if he settles exactly there, then I could just come take that city. Mm. He does have a science advantage on me. And I, I also noticed that Hypatia is coming up. So I want to accelerate my science. So I think this might be time to go ahead and grab a quick observatory here. I'm going to send this builder up to Uxmal. It'll take uh, six turns to get there, so now it's time to appoint Magnus into Uxmal. And then I'll think I will... I guess I can't settle that city, so I think I'll probably settle Hotel next, and then up here. And backfill. Although I was thinking about settling that one too. Could also buy a settler. Costs 680 gold to buy a settler. I think I'd rather buy a library so I can get Hypatia. All of our policies are good. The reason I'm not buying a settler is because I get 50% production towards settlers. Oh no, okay. So China settled. Fantastic. 
So now nothing here ma actually matters. But I don't get my spaceport city. This was a really, really high production city. I'm not sure that it's worth going to war for. I think I'll be able to, to make do with the rest of my empire here. Especially if I get a couple of carefully placed industrial zones. Like, we do have... The thing is, we do have a construction-based economy. Speaking of which, I need to get to construction. I kind of forgot about that. I got distracted by apprenticeship. But we'll tech towards construction first. If I can get a bunch of builders in feudalism... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna switch away from recorded history for just a second because we already have um, the boost. We're working towards the boost. I mean, so let's uh, spend some time towards feudalism. Let's just let them duke out over this land. It doesn't matter to us that much. I'll plan for another city around here, like maybe right there, maybe right there. A harbor city might be nice. I guess it's got to be there or no or nowhere, right? Because this city will zone out everything. Not every city has to be within six tiles of our capital, I suppose. I do want to settle this one though, and potentially appoint a governor in there to reduce the loyalty pressure on that tile. Could also go out and buy that. Um, that mine could uh, help the long-term potential of that city. I also want to buy this tile, especially because uh, Spain is putting their government plaza there. So super cool on that part. Yeah, I'll wait for this settle to finish and then settle that city. I think I'll go for audience chamber this game just to get the extra um, housing. I was thinking for a second about uh, going for the Settler Hall, but putting the government plaza in a bad city kind of nerfs that plan. Yeah, we're still going over here. In a couple turns, this magnets will establish, and then we'll chop out that. We'll probably chop out the government plaza first, because we need to get it down and get the audience chamber so we can start growing our cities and get our empire online. I was going to build a library in here. It'll take 11 turns. Do I want to delay a settler by that long? I don't think I want to delay another settler by that long because it takes that much time to... Uh, it's just taking a long, long time to get settlers out because I'm trying to produce them all. Let's, so let's buy our library. That'll get us more work towards Hypatia. 22 turns. We might have to pray for Hypatia. And I'll come over here. I'll see if, if he swings that settler around. We might not be able to get this city, but I think that, I think it's safe. There's only two tiles to settle. It's also critical that this city gets this tile. So I'll probably buy this tile first. It'll take a while before my border can grow over to this mine, but it'll take a while before Toledo's borders can grow to that mine too. Okay, it's time to renew our uh, alliance or our friendship with Spain to make sure that they don't attack us. We, we really, really do not want to be attacked. It's super important on Deity and on other high levels of play that you placate the AI. You cannot let them hit you. Okay, next turn we'll probably chop. I don't think we'll chop out the monument. I think we'll chop out the government plaza in here. Although a quicker feudalism might be nice. So that means this uh this plantation or this observatory unfortunately is moot. Maybe that makes this whole plan also moot. Well, no, I need rationalism for this observatory. Here's the thing, the plus 1 adjacency. Okay, so to be clear, I'm thinking about Uxmal moving its observatory over here. That's a plus three, and then Hotel's Observatory going there, because that's a plus four. So overall, that might be better, because it allows me to build my government plaza somewhere else. Like, maybe right here, to benefit these two. But I don't think that's as a strong a play, because I would lose out on an entire plus three observatory. And right now, I've already committed to this plan, so diverting from it now is not actually going to save me anything. 
cost me 62 production to get this government plaza so I could literally like just chop it out if I remove that monument from the queue, right? And then I chop for 61 production. There's a government plaza. And so next turn I get a government plaza for free. That's worth another governor promotion as well, which I can put in one of my ex uh, cities on the extremes of my empire. Oh, he's got swords in the area. Good thing he's my friend. Will you move your sword? I'm going to see if he moves this that sword. We're two era score away from a golden age, and it ends in 10 turns. So maybe I appoint Amani and grab the first suzerainty of Kumasi just to get that era score. What else could I do for era score? I could build or buy an archer. Purchase a Hulche. 240 gold. I think we'll do that to secure that normal age. I don't want a dark age right now because I have pretty weak loyalty and I'm trying to settle some fringe cities. So it's, it's important to maintain uh, loyalty. And we'll not go for the audience chamber just yet. I need to get this monument first. If I get the monument, I can get some better tiles online. Get some... Um, what is some culture for the rest of the empire? Could also chop that out, but I don't I don't have housing in here yet. So I could chop this rainforest, but it's not gonna do much good. I mean I might as well. I've got I've already got Magnus in here. I'm planning on moving Magnus around a little bit. There's a few chops in here that I could get. And we're now Oh no, someone bought Hypatia. Who recruited Hypatia? I guess I didn't know about their great person potential because let's see let's see how it works. It looks like if I haven't met the player then I don't know anything about their great person point. Okay, so the Hypatia bid was foolhardy. And who are we getting? We're getting Euclid who is pretty pretty bad. We'll probably skip him. Okay, but that means that the library we can delay. We can also delay the library because I don't see any uh, blue city-states. So it's a bit unfortunate for that. So I guess I go ahead and grab another settler. 24 turns out of here. It's going to take too long. Maybe I don't grab another settler. Maybe I just grab a granary so I can grow the city more. We're gonna skip another turn, see what he does. Yes, he does. He did move his troops. So now I can move into this tile. Oh! He does want to settle. He'll probably settle. Dang it! He zoned me out. Ugh, that's so annoying. Whatever. Well, let's get our monument in here. And then that's up to three populations. We need our granary. I'm gonna move over and build this mine. Let's let's watch him. Move, settle. He didn't he didn't settle. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Okay. And then we can appoint a governor. Who do we want? I suppose Reyna is next. Reyna allows me to acquire new tiles faster in this city. And now we're at growing loyalty. We do want to buy this tile, because we know he'll build a plantation eventually and drop an observatory there. But before that, maybe we should build walls because he's not going to like this. Minus six for unknown reason. I think I can still maintain a friendship with him, which means I can avoid walls. Let's go for a monument in here, actually before the observatory. I think our policies are still all good. Let's take his Diplo favor, because we're probably not going to settle anywhere near him anymore. And let's see, we are 
Seven turns away until the next era. In five turns, we'll get a settler and settle that city, which is worth era score. And we might actually get that era, the uh, golden age off of that settle. Let's build a mine in this city to get some extra production. And then we'll build this farm. Oh, that's actually worth era score. So there's there it is. There's our golden age, or our normal age. And all things considered, we, we've got most of our cities. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 out of 12 is not bad. Or is it 9 out of 13? 3, 6, 9, 10 out of 13, actually. That's pretty good for cities within six tiles of the capital. That's what I'm talking about here. So there's construction. We're probably not going to get to beat the target of a declaration of war. So defensive tactics will hard build it so we can get to feudalism. There's era score. There's our normal age. There's a uh, farm for Uxmal so I can continue to grow. Let's go for apprenticeship now. Then we can reveal miter on the map or we can get towards universities. So now let me think because I was going to have a city near Zhaodong be our spaceport. Because it just has such good production over here. Maybe that means Kalak Mol should be our spaceport city. We should probably buy a monument in here to, to grab some of these tiles from Xiaodong. He took that mine. That's pretty bad. It's like not the end of the world. The city's never going to be that great for us. Just sad. Yeah, I'll buy a monument in here. So I can help this city grow, get some more culture. Maybe Kalak Mall will be our spaceport because there's a lot of uh, lumber mills that are pretty good. And then I might have to just aggressively buy some tiles from Xiaodong. Like this hill, 115 gold. I could sell some Diplo favor and then buy that tile. Would you give me six gold? Would you give me six gold? Well, let's let's hinder China because I've hindered Spain more. I'm gonna get up to 20. What would you give me? Six gold per turn. So that's like worth 100 gold. Would you give me? 200 gold? Oh, why am I doing it this way? 150. Okay, 125. Okay, 137. Just fine. I'll take it. So we just bought ourselves a tile. To be clear, I'm buying this tile because it's in the second ring of Dong, so it will likely pick up this tile. It's a good tile to pick up. And it is a grassland hill with woods on it. So both of these, I want to put mines on them eventually. Especially if Kalak Mole will be my spaceport city. Which also means I might want to put the diplomatic quarter in Kalak Mole. So I'm thinking like aqueduct uh, dam, industrial zone. That should probably be Kalak Mole's industrial zone. And then I can put the diplo quarter right here and then the spaceport right here. And then that'll be a farm triangle. This will all be farmland. And then these will be mines. Excellent. So we've done we've done well for ourselves, I think. So the next couple cities that I want to settle are these two. Because they're the ones that I'm least likely to get if I delay them. And then I'll come back fill these other good cities. This government plaza is not a government plaza at all. Although if I do put a district there of some kind, like maybe a theater square. I could also put a theater square here too. I'm trying to avoid theater squares if I can help it. Maybe this is a commercial hub because it'd just be a plus two hub, which is worth taking it off the river because I want this to be a farm trapezoid for these two cities. And then that leaves 
the hub off of this city. Could build a harbor too, like a plus zero harbor. Maybe a hub is better. This city does have a commercial hub, like right here. I wonder if I could pick up that culture bomb uh, civic sometime and just, then just flip these mines, because that, that could make Tikal very, very good in terms of production. These are all good tiles. All right, we've got the chance to build a trade route. I think we should probably trade with Spain. If I could get one from Uxmal to Toledo, that could be really strong. So let me send it to Uxmal, because I want that road running through this way. And then I'll probably want a road from Hotel down to whatever city this is called. All right, there's our classical era. I think we just go ahead and grab the audience chamber because we have so many cities that have governors in them that could really benefit from this. Kalik Mull needs a governor now. The medieval era is next, so I probably want to use one of our governor titles on the um, Hermetic Order, which would allow me to do the unique university. Ran three random boosts, that's not worth it. What was I saying? Governors, Hermetic Order, Ritual. Yeah, it allows us to construct alchemical societies. We can also hold off on that promotion until we're ready to build an alchemical society. Well, I was going to trade with Tikal, but I guess I can't. Or sorry, with Toledo, but I guess I can't to get the right road because I don't want... I don't want Spain to benefit from that road. I want to benefit from this road. Maybe uh, maybe Valencia is the right way to go, just because this road will be really strong to get from Uxmal all the way down to... Like, that's also more central to our empire. I like that plan. Over time, they'll fill in some more of these roads, but just get a central one that's, like, vertical this way, as opposed to out towards um, China. Let's see, now this is a minus 10 tile, so that's totally settleable. How are we doing on loyalty in here? It's rising, but with the help of a governor, so I might move Liang from Zunantik to Hotel, because she's the least important governor of the ones that I have. We do need to build a builder somewhere. Let's grab another settler. I'm just trying to get these cities out as quickly as I can. It's turn 84 already. I'm going to have to use Liang to stabilize Hotel. But I bet I could actually bring this warrior over here and pick up the Limitan A card, maybe. I think by the time that it uh, that I grow, it won't matter, and then maybe I'll be able to move Reyna instead. Okay, and Toledo is going to grow into its second ring before it gets this mine, so I'm not super worried about that. Both of those tiles are good, and I hope that uh, my city picks them up. I might have to buy them. Might also buy this tile. That's Plains Woods. No, it's not worth it. The rainforest will be fine in terms of production. All right. And we are very close to... Uh-oh. Yep, we exploded. Yep, we crashed. Uh, I was going to say we're close to ending this episode, but... Then the game crashed. I think four turns for an observatory. Actually, now that I get to make this decision again, I think four turns for an observatory is probably worth it at this point, especially because it's a plus three observatory. Get my great person economy faster. It's a major flood where we lost a population. I want to dam this river just as quickly as I can. Actually, now that I think about it, I might want to go up to buttressing quickly. I'll get some more science and then I'll they'll, I'll go into buttress so I can get that dam online. Probably not going to build three mines. We were going to, but now we're probably not going to. Okay, we're going to take the free inquiry dedication. 
We have a governor title. We'll save that for hotel to avoid having to uh, move a governor around. And we'll get another uh, title from audience chamber. I don't see us as uh, really needing that university just yet. And the unique university. We can also, we can always just build the university and then once it's built, we can get the alchemical society instead. I think that's the way that it works. So we'll just save that for hotel. And we'll probably appoint Amani because I think we're going to be friends with them for a good long time. I still like our um, policy says plan. The two specialty districts is kind of a, a nerf on that. We could really use that plus one housing. If it just said plus one housing in all cities, that would be really, really good. Oh, I already made that decision. It's time to go to next turn. In two turns, we'll have another city. Ooh, I can get culture bombs for me. Yes, and then I could immediately build like a commercial hub in that fringe city. And flip those mines from uh, Nazca. That would be really, really good. Let's uh, let's just hamper Catholicism, I guess. Okay, so we got culture bombs. So now what I want to do, I will finish this monument and then I'll build the observatory. And then once I get up to four population in here, I'll get the uh, commercial hub. That that also could be worth a builder to chop out some population in here. As a matter of fact. We might want to buy this tile so we can grow or build farms or something. Yeah, let's build a builder in this city. Send him down to Tikal and get some farms. Okay, there's Hotel. We're actually stable in terms of loyalty now, which is great. We don't actually have to appoint our governor in here. I guess I go ahead and buy this tile and build the observatory there. I could build a uh, could build a commercial hub here. That could be a, a stronger like sort of a gambit because I'm building that next to the volcano, which is bound to erupt eventually. But that gives me these three tiles, which could be good. Lumber mill, lumber mill. Yeah, I like that. Let's build a commercial hub first. That also allows you to get a trader. And while we're waiting for this city to grow, we could like maybe buy a monument. I think it's okay. We'll just have that city be garbage growth. We're, we're just putting it down so we can have it. I don't need that city to, to be good now. I just need it to be, it to be good eventually. I guess I'll go ahead and take that one gold. Send them a trade route. Where are they? I don't even know where they are. Oh, they're up here. Oh, my scout is fortified. Fortified forever. Oops. Just go ahead and keep exploring. Gonna neglect to use this governor title for now. But anyway, we've got some interesting things to do in the next one. We've got this culture bomb ability that I usually am not able to get much use out of, but I think I'll get a lot of use out of it this game because of how uh, close I am to my neighbors. So I'm actually excited to see where that goes. I'm going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this content, please don't forget to like my video. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There will be new videos out every day when I get a new um, series. I I'll release it one episode at a time on a daily basis. So don't forget to subscribe so you see all of those. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.